Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Render. In this tutorial we will learn how to create metals which appearance is driven by a gradient color that adapts to the viewing angle. These metals are great to give a pearly or an iridescent finish to a surface. Let's resize the nodal editor because we will be working there. Let's begin by creating a coated metal material. Let's increase its roughness so it doesn't look as polished and blur away reflections a bit. Next we will create a falloff node that will make colors be dependent on the viewing angle. We will plug the falloff node to the metal's diffuse color. With the show in viewport toggle we will reveal the map in the viewport to better appreciate its behavior. By editing the map's two colors we will see how there's a color ramp that depends on the viewing angle. The gamma control can be used to change the slope of the ramp. Let's restore the original colors and keep on working on our material. Let's create a gradient color node, which has been greatly improved in this release. Let's now create a remap node, which is a new type of map introduced in our most recent release. We will use this map to colorize the falloff view dependent ramp. Let's plug the remap node to the metal's diffuse color, the falloff node to the remap's input color, and the gradient color to the remap's second plug. Let's change the gradient color mode from step to smooth. If we now use the show in viewport toggle on the remap node we will isolate in the viewport this branch of the nodal editor to better see its effect. We can see how the gradient adapts to the surface depending on the viewing angle as we move the camera. We added a new area in the maps library with good looking pre-made gradient colors. Let's drop one of these and see what it looks like. Here's the interesting effect we just created for this example. A good strategy once we got here is to contaminate the gradient color with a fixed color to control the gradient's impact. Let's create a mix node and plug the gradient color to the first input plug. By changing the amount we will see how the balance between white and the gradient changes. You may also use a non-white color to give a different finish to the metal. Let's try another gradient color and play a bit with the mix amount and the fall off gamma. This is the technique we've used to create some similar metals in the library. You can simply drop them to your models and do adjustments as you like. The artistic result is very appealing. This is all for now. See you in the next video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.